Hi students, uh, today uh, we will discuss uh, one of the most commonly used thermal analysis technique and that is what referred to as thermogravimetry. Uh, thermogravimetry is actually a technique uh, where the sample mass is recorded as a function of temperature or sometime as a function of temperature and time or sometime as a function of time at constant temperature. So we have a substance to analyze and its mass is the measurable property here and this property is measured as a function of temperature or sometime as a function of temperature and time or sometime as a function of only time at constant temperature and normally we get a kind of a relationship where a change in mass with respect to temperature is obtained just like this and in order to measure this change in mass of a certain substance with respect to temperature an instrument which is used is commonly referred to as thermobalance it's a specific kind of balance used to determine a change in mass of the given substance and there are different types of thermogravimetry and these types are based upon that whether you are going to use a constant temperature or you are changing temperature uh, the first type is isothermal uh, gravimetry and in isothermal gravimetry isothermal mean at the same temperature so at a given temperature the mass loss is studied as a function of time at a given temperature for example here you can see the three curves T3 is a higher temperature than T2 and T2 is a higher temperature than T1 for temperature T3 the mass loss is increasing with respect to time and the process is completed in say for example this span of time and at T2 which is lower temperature the same process is happening but it is taking relatively a longer time because temperature is low so isothermal gravimetry is the study of mass loss as a function of time at a given temperature. A second type of the uh, thermogravimetry is called as Cauchy isothermal technique and uh, this can be explained by means of this very graph here. Uh, this is the mass loss and these are the three temperature zones and we have time on the x-axis so the sample is subjected to a series of increasing temperature zones and in each temperature zone the sample is heated to the constant mass and when mass is about to change there is a second 
temperature zone till the constant mass this red zone and then we have another zone of temperature it's increasing and the mass is constant so this is called as Cauchy isothermal technique uh, similarly we have another most commonly used thermogravimetric technique and uh, this is what I refer to as uh, dynamic thermogravimetry and in dynamic thermogravimetry the temperature is changing and the change in temperature is preferably at a linear rate and the mass loss as a function of this temperature change is studied and this is the most commonly used technique so now onward we will talk about this dynamic thermogravimetry this very curve which is a mass loss versus temperature curve in thermogravimetry is commonly referred to as thermogram or thermolytic curve sometimes it is also called as pyrolysis curve and it is also called as thermo gravigram and sometimes it is also called as thermogravimetric analysis curve the important point is that this very curve the mass loss versus temperature curve uh, this thermogram or thermogravimetric curve which is a mass loss versus temperature curve of any substance uh, gives a significant information about the composition and thermal stability of the initial sample and any intermediate compounds which are formed from this very sample it also gives information about the composition of any residue if it is left at the end of the analysis the important points of this uh, mass loss and temperature uh, curve are that, that there are two temperature points known as Ti also known as procedural decomposition temperature and Tf or the final temperature and these two points are important in analysis and the interval between these two points that is difference between Tf and Ti is commonly referred to as uh, reaction interval uh, Ti is actually the temperature where the decomposition of the substance is being detected by the thermobalance the notable thing here is that this Ti is not the decomposition temperature of that very substance it may be the case that the decomposition has already started but the thermobalance is able to detect that mass loss at this very point so that's never been the decomposition temperature that's why it is also called a procedural decomposition temperature so for example here is the uh, component A 
and it is transformed into component B. A is solid. B which is left behind as residue is also solid and uh, it can be represented as that this A solid material is now converted into a B solid material and a gaseous substance C is evolved during the course of this process. So and this is the point where the C has originated or the C has uh, about to form during this whole course and this is the point where this process has ended and we are getting a uniform straight line